Send it. <laughs> So then, episode four. So I've been working away all week and um, literally just got back from working away. Just dumped my bags and about to go smash again. A big chest, shoulders, a sort of push workout um, Friday night. And I'm about to go pit up the gym big time. Um, but last night, I just want to talk about last night because tonight I can't wait to go to the gym. I've literally dumped my bags and I'm just all I want to do is go have a big workout, get this energy out of my system and go pump some blood into the muscles. But last night, um, I had a full day at work and I got in from work. I was, I was grafting all day. It was hard work. And I got in and I laid in my hotel room on the bed. It was the first night of where I was, so I didn't know where the gym was. And I was shagged, I was knackered. I, I knew, like, me being me, I knew that I'd forced myself to train. Um, but I, most people probably in that situation would just have a rest night and not train and just chill out. But um, I know that those sort of nights are when my best workouts come in. Um, when I'm tired, when I don't want to train, I get a bit of pre-workout down me or some caffeine or something, put my earphones in. And something just happens when I'm tired, mixed with caffeine and um, whatever it is. I just went in and absolutely had one of the best work, probably the best workout I've had so far on this prep in this little series. Um, and it, I just smashed it. The music was pumping. I could get into the zone. I didn't care about anyone around me. I had my cap pointed down, just in the zone, pulling faces, smashing workouts, smashing sets, reps. And it felt good, so I just wanted to talk about that, saying you're not always going to feel good, um, but as long as you get there and get it done, and um, you, you, you're working towards your goal, like you're going to have to force yourself sometimes, and often those times that you force yourself are the best sessions that you had. So anyway, I'm about to go get some pre-workout straight into the bloodstream. Ah! One of the things that I missed while uh, gyms were shut and we were training from home was driving to the gym, blasting the tunes and just getting ready to smash a big workout. Um, it's, it's a good feeling just driving to the gym with the tunes blasting out, just getting in the zone for the big workout. <laughs> Oh, I'm 
Saturday morning again. The tunes are good, the food is good, vibes are good. Get ready for a big, another big leg session. Drake fuel in it. I don't know what to say. You, you, you know. That's not the way to get over me. Done. Think you're Ron L. Sullivan? Ah. Ah, go. <laughs> Sunday morning gym shesh. Shesh? Shesh. <laughs> Sunday morning gym session going in. What are you training? Chest. When was the last time you changed chest? Six months ago. What are you going to get up? Uh, what, what do you reckon you'll get? 100. Four. Right, I'll challenge you on that. I'm training legs, getting the first time deadlifting in about since before lockdown. How long ago was that? <laughs> six months ago. Yeah. So um, I'm going for 200 for four. That's what, that's what I got before lockdown, so that's what I'm going for now. Send it. Send it. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes minging. It's nice after. It's watermelon. Decent. Send it. <laughs> Send it. So first time deadlifting in about six months. We'll see if I can still deadlift what I could before. Not bad, though. Say I'm not really. But What did you say you get? Two. Send it. <laughs> Come on, easy. Come on, five in you. Easy. Three more. Come on. Two more, easy, come on. Keep going, keep going, come on. Good session, greedy lad. Ah. Nice one. Oban, Oban. Oban. Oh, there we go. So just got two urban burgers, Sunday afternoon. Cheat meal is going in. Josh has a cheat meal every day. But, um, big shout out to Urban Burgers as well because McDonald's is shite. Subway have just started doing gluten free only just. Um, but KFC, no gluten free. But Urban Burger, smash it every, well, for the past couple of years. You don't even realise it's gluten free. You don't feel like a spaz whilst you're eating it. So, um, big, yeah, thank you, Urban Burger. But anyway, um, Sunday afternoon, so war zone all afternoon. I'm going to see family, so I'll probably put a clip in of the war zone of Josh being shit and me absolutely owning it as per. But um, if you're still watching, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Gas is moving in, new safe zone located. Ground. Mission accomplished. All targets eliminated. 